Hey again guys, do you know what I like to do when I get a request from a subscriber? I like to look at some baseball cards, although in this instance, I'm going to look at some football cards. Alright, this goes out to Thomas Fleeson, who requested that I show my Rocky Blyer rookie card. And I have a few others to show too. So this is my Rocky Blyer rookie card. Now, when I first went out on my own for work, uh, the first company I got work from was a company that Rocky part he was part owner of. And I hung out with him one time, uh, met him, uh, brought him in for a speech in the community. And he was a smoker, actually. And he and I stood outside while he smoked and uh, shot the shit around. Of course, he lost half his foot in Vietnam and a unbelievable comeback story. They made a movie about him with, uh, what was that guy's name? Robert Urich, Urich, Robert Urich, I believe. The actor from Vegas, great TV show. My favorite card of Rocky, although I love that one too, is this Stop and Go. This is from 1980. I also have one from 1979. They made these two years. One of the most under known, underappreciated football sets, in my opinion. They have some fantastic players, some fantastic images. This is uh, one of the tougher ones from the set. I don't know if it's short printed, but I can tell you it's hard to find and hard to find a nice example. I have this 1976. Nineteen seventy nine signed copy. Of course, he's known for that great catch in the Super Bowl, uh, where he even admits he doesn't know how he jumped that high to catch that ball. And then, in an even more important play, the Steelers had the game one, uh, but the Cowboys did an onside kick. And if they recovered that, they had a chance. And uh, Rocky Blyer was there on the hands team, and he snagged it up right away. Now, from nineteen eighty. As I was going through my cards, man, I could swear I had this card from when I was a kid, but I don't have the main card. So I just had to go onto eBay and get one. But I do have the, uh, this is the uh, championship card that he's featured on in 1980. And as a little bonus, I thought I'd show you guys uh, the different wrappers that the 1980s cards came in. I have this one here, still with a piece of the gum. So these are the 1980 football wrappers. Now, as I said, Kenny Pickett looked good last night. In fact, a Steelers quarterback did not throw an incompletion until a minute 50 left in the first half. Now, I'm going to be going um, live with 3D 80s kid on this Sunday at one on the, uh, well, it's the, the four collectors, four collectors, four collectors, four collectors, four collectors, uh, something like that. Four collectors, four collectors. And we're going to be going over different 1920s baseball card issues. Uh, there are lots of them. They're a little more obscure. And uh, I would suspect you may uh, see some cards you haven't seen before especially if you're newer to the hobby. So uh, definitely check that out, one o'clock Eastern time. So that's what I have for you. I just got the next article for the Mangini letter. Uh, another fantastic YouTuber uh, did, did a contribution and uh, I'll let it be a surprise though. So, hey, as always, thanks for watching.